you're looking here at a block of solid aluminum that had something do some major damage. That damage was caused by a 14 gram piece of plastic. That's about the size of a pencil eraser or a cap on a marker. So how the heck did that happen? Engineers were running a test in a lab, so they launched this piece of plastic at 28,000 kilometers per hour, smashing it into the block of aluminum. If you remember high school physics, you may remember the equation for kinetic energy, one half mv squared. So at that speed, even that tiny little piece of plastic was traveling with roughly 23 times the kinetic energy of a 50 caliber ammunition. Now, tiny pieces of metal and plastic like this, often known as space junk, are a real problem when it comes to traveling in outer space. Anything orbiting the Earth, like a satellite or a space station, generally travels between roughly 11,000 kilometers per hour up to 28,000 kilometers per hour. And at those speeds, space junk, which is typically little fragments of broken up satellites, can be a huge problem. So imagine what an entire broken up space station could do if it collided into satellites or other things. The number of space junk particles out there has only grown over the years and NASA is keeping a close eye on this. Here's the part about all this that I think is really interesting. The Earth orbiting satellites that we have, they're traveling 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's pretty fast, but honestly it's nothing compared to some of the speeds that we could achieve. Already the fastest man-made object out there is the Parker Solar Space Probe and it's traveling at a whopping 692,000 kilometers per hour. Now imagine that running into a piece of space junk. The entire thing would be annihilated even by that little piece of plastic we talked about before. And that actually points to a lesser known problem with deep space travel. If you wanted to get anywhere meaningful, like let's say a nearby solar system, you're gonna have to travel awfully close to the speed of light to ever get there. And deep space is mostly empty, that's why they call it space, but it's not entirely empty. There's an entire interstellar medium of gas molecules and dust particles out there. And while they're few and far between, if you're traveling at high speeds, like close to the speed of light, they're gonna become a real problem. Let's say you were traveling at 75% the speed of light. At that speed, you would collide with space dust particles no bigger than a bacterium, and it would be like your spaceship was getting shelled by anti-tank rounds. And what if you got your spaceship up to like 99.9% .9 the speed of light? At that speed, the collisions, even with tiny gas molecules, would be so energetic that the entire spaceship would decay into a plasma of subatomic particles. And that's just from the collisions with the hydrogen molecules. We aren't going to be traveling near light speed anytime soon. If we're really serious about space travel, this whole space junk and space debris problem is something we're going to have to figure out. That's Fun Fact Friday. Tune in and subscribe for more content just like this.